Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Call Halal Lai, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, that's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai, all praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be straight to the point. Uh, you can call it a quick hitter. And this is James chapter 1, verse 4. It says, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. I'm going to read it again. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. All right. And um, key word in there is patience. And uh, us brothers of the known, we know that patience means to suffer. Now, this is another thing too, brothers. Um, etymology online is, uh, as of right now, it's not working. Now, I don't know if it's temporarily down or, you know, they doing a hot fix to, I guess, maintenance on it. I don't know. Or they actually terminated it. And I'm talking about etymology online, etymology online, which is um, which is um, you know, a site to go to to look up the meaning and origin of a word, you know, and how it's used in its original text. All right, and um, if you devils, all right, these Edomites actually took that site down. You know, I'm pretty sure there's another site to go to to look up the etymology, but it's all probably due. You know, taking it down is due to the prophets, you know, because the prophets of the Lord use it. All right. The men of the Lord. And I'm going to say starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are our teachers, man. And they taught us, you know, to get into those words and to look up the origin and the meaning of a word, you know, and how it's used in its context. All right. The original state of it. And, um, you know, it just shows that these devils, man, you know, they, they you know, they, they're looking to uh, shut the brothers up Shut the prophets up But ultimately it's the most high And that's why we tell you You know from time after time That it's a famine coming on this word man There's a famine coming on the word You're not going to be able to Look at videos to get the gospel You're not going to be able to look up shit online You know Shit, shit, hey, shit is going to be uh, lights out man I uh, did a lesson yesterday In Job 18 and 5 You know the light of the wicked shall be put out all right, his spark shall not shine, you know, so it's going to go dark, all right, upon uh, uh, the world. It's going to get dark, man, you know, when the uh, time of Jacob's trouble is actually beating on the door, all right, when this economy crash, you know, ain't nobody going to be looking to uh, study, you know, ain't nobody, and you know, the brothers, the prophets of the Lord, they're not going to be looking to prophesy because it's all going to be about surviving. And the scriptures say, uh, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. So that's why now is the time that the Lord, you know, is, uh, you know, giving out his hand for those of the hopeful elect to receive, man, to receive this word now. You know, scriptures say, seek the Lord ten times more because it was your mind that, that went astray. Roughly paraphrasing it. All right. But um, I want to um, get back to the point. Now, I'm going to read it again. James chapter 1, verse 4. It says, but let patience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. All right. So now let's go into the quick Google search of patience. It says the capacity to accept or to tolerate delay, trouble or sufferings without getting angry or upset. So the word patient ultimately means to suffer, you know. So when you're having patience in this truth toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, basically you're going to suffer, man. You know, you have to bear your cross. All right. You have to bear your cross. Yahweh Shai did and we had to, we have to do also. Now, it says the capacity to accept, you know, because patience, you know, comes by you accepting it, by you accepting your what? Sufferings, you know, whatever it is that you got to go through, you accept it. You are now counting that what? Patience. 
So it says the capacity to accept or tolerate delay. All right, so anything that you're doing that tolerates a delay, it means that you're having patience to what? Suffer, all right? And we're tolerating uh, this hell we're going through, all right? In this kingdom, this God-forsaken kingdom of Esau, all right? And, it's, and it seems like it's a delay, but it's not. You know, the scriptures say, um, I think that's in Peter's, that uh, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So it's really not a delay. You know, we're waiting uh, for prophecies to be fulfilled. And, and prophecies are done in space and time. All right. Which is uh, which is really adds up to the Lord's clock. All right. So this is uh, or sufferings without getting angry. It's like you. It says, um, or suffering without getting angry or upset. And uh, the scriptures tell us in Sirach, okay, the second chapter, it says, My son, if thou come to if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, so, and also it says, you know, take it cheerfully. Huh? It also says, you know, take it cheerfully. So whenever we're going through sufferings, we have to what? Take it cheerfully, man. All right, so it says, sufferings without getting angry or upset and that's patience you know you know like i said i'm gonna say it again um you have um etymology online is actually offline all right because um it's not up it's not working they took down the site all right unless they're gonna put it back up but anyway this is james chapter one and four but let patience have her perfect work all right, because patience is, is work. <laughs> you know, when, when you're suffering something to come to pass, <laughs> you know, you actually learn. You know, you actually learn to be imperfect. It's a, it's a way to be perfect. You know, because a lot of us, and I'm going to say especially me, you know, in the world coming into this truth, you know, you know, when you are, when you have that flesh, more than you of uh, of the spirit of the Lord, you know you want things now, you know, and when you have pa when you have sufferings and patience towards something that's actually troubling you or giving this delay, for you want it to come to pass, you get angry, man. You know, you start talking shit. You know, you start huffing, puffing. You know, but patience actually uh, brings forth the perfection, you know, of uh, of uh, suffering. All right. Now it says, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect. All right. So the point is that we're striving to be what? Perfect. And eventually we are going to be perfect. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to make us perfect through the second covenant. All right. He said he would take out the stony heart and give us a heart of flesh. All right. Meaning the spirit and the flesh would be at one instead of right now is warring against each other. You know? We won't be subject, you know, to sin. We'll be able to keep the laws in our inward parts and we'll be perfect. You know, we'll have those new bodies. So it says that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Because eventually, you know, when you're uh, in your perfection of perfectness, hey, what is it that you really want? You know, what is it that you really need? You know, in the kingdom, we're going to have it all, man. And it's going to be here real soon, man. You know, we're going to have it all. You know, what is it that you're going to want? So let me read one more time. It says, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. Like I said, it was straight to the point. Uh, it was a topic that came up earlier and I uh, wrote the scripture down. I said, when I get in my car. You know, I wanted to just go over it and look up the word. And by looking up the word, perf uh, looking up the word patience, I discovered that etymology online is actually offline. All right. It's down. The site is down. Now, like I said, Esau took it down. He took it down. I'm, I'm pretty sure because the prophets, the men of the Lord use it, you know, to get into the origin of a word. All right. To look up the meaning of a word. You know, and um, and if he didn't, maybe it's down for maintenance. But for you brothers that tune in, 
you know, I you know, check y'all phones and check 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 it on y'all and you know, because that was the main tool, you know, we use. But I'm pretty sure there's other sites up there, you know, to search and get into the etymology of a word, you know. But that uh, etymology online, man, that shit was butter. <laughs> you know, you can get, you know, you know, you're gonna get uh, what you need, man. You know, but also, you know, just to tie it in before I wrap it up, that there's a famine, man, a famine, a famine on this word, man. And you know what? I'm gonna get a scripture. I'm gonna get the scripture on that. Because uh, that, that leads, you know, that leads me to believe that, look, we're in that time of a famine coming upon this word, you know? So, prophesize. Uh, uh, lock in. Right, this is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh. That I was sent a famine in the land. Alright? And we all know what a famine is. A famine is a lack of uh, a lack of resource, right? So it says, Behold, the days of the Lord Behold, the days of the Lord say of the excuse me, behold, the days come, say of the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water. But of hearing the words of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So, you know, if you don't get this truth while you can now, you know, then you shit out of luck. You know, and that 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 also means that the Lord is have sealed. When this famine actually come, we can't teach and prophesize. That means that the Lord have sealed the elect, and that means destruction is is on its way. All right. It means destruction. It's on its way because that's coming. That's coming. It has to. It says, uh, verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. All right, so you're going to seek the word of the Lord, but you're not going to find it. Then that's also prophecy, man. <laughs> It's like, you know, everything is prophecy, man. <laughs> For you seeking the word. Yo, where them, you know, where, 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 where the apostles at? You know, where the elders at? Where the brothers at? I used to see them all the time on a Saturday, Sunday, Friday, you know, during the week. They used to be out here prophesizing. You know, that right there alone is going to be prophecy because you're not going to be able to find these men because the Lord is going to hide these men. All right. It says, verse 13, and that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst all right and what thirst do you truly need is that that water all right that water of the scriptures you know not talking about the water in which we need like h2o but the word itself is also equivalent to water you're gonna need that water matter of fact i believe yahweh shai made mention he said uh you taste of this water you shall not thirst you know roughly paraphrasing all right so it says that, that in that day shall the fair virgins, which is a young woman, it says, and young men faint for thirst. All right. It says, uh, you know, yeah, that, that's basically it, man. So, you know, with that, I hope you brothers were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Also, to a few uh, sisters out there who do tune in, uh, may, may that the Lord bless you. You know, may the Lord bless your hut, you know, the men first and then the women, you know, and bless the household of those of the whole four leg. You know, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Hodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four leg. Shalom.